Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, it is my honor to be an invited speaker at the Ed Brook High University International Conference. And I would like to share my experience and innovation with you under the topic, Kwan University Academic English Language Test in Times of COVID-19, Challenges and Opportunities for Language Testing Innovations in Thailand. In my talk, I will first uh, talk about COVID-19 and its impact on language testing in higher education settings. And I will lead you to the innovation called the online get you out from home at Kankan University. And finally, I'm going to share some challenges we have found and lessons learned from the get you out from home. And we can have question and answer session. So everyone, may remember when we uh, move our face-to-face uh, -face classroom into online platform, right? So it's very difficult for us because we are not familiar of using technology, especially in teaching online, right? And it's very challenging for our students as well to learn online. We have struggled using technology in uh, teaching and learning. And I think it is more challenging for testing because testing is uh, some kind of uh, concern more with the issues of like cheating, right? We are afraid of our student will cheat during the exam, you know, and then um, in terms of test security itself and also proctoring system as well. And these kind of challenges are the same everywhere, actually. So uh, in other universities and in other institutions, they have faced the same challenges. Uh, Oakley in 2021, they mentioned that uh, un universities and institutions have uh, adapted their language assessment procedures into three types. You know, it's very interesting to learn this. The first one is synchronous at home test delivery. So that means test takers are at home, but tests are delivered through the use of video. So they use video to help. Uh, proctoring this, the, the test or assessment. The second type, synchronous outdoor face-to-face -to -face test delivery. So tests are delivered face-to-face -face without changes in testing procedures, but they use COVID-19 safety measures to help them to facilitate the test process. And the third type, a synchronous at-home test delivery. So tests are delivered anytime but with the use of high quality proctoring softwares, and most of the time this is related to AI. Right? So in detail, some examples can be seen from uh, university, first university in Brigham Young University in Hawaii. Uh, at this uh, university, they have a placement test for undergraduate students. They have to change from face to face into virtual placement tests to undergraduate students, but the tests do the same includes both use, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. So they use Canvas as the test delivery uh, system. And proctoring system is called Proctorio to help them proctor the students' uh, assessment. At Temple University, they have international teaching assistants. In order to recruit students to be international teaching assistants, they have to take uh, to test the test taker speaking ability. So usually they have uh, some kind of dry speaking test. You know, they have like pre-recorded questions, but they, instead of doing dry speaking tests, they use um, this opportunity to change assessment proce uh, procedures. So they added interactional competence to see how well the test takers interact with the interlocutor in terms of speaking or communication. And this is, and this is good for them. IELTS, okay, IELTS also have their own uh, project called IELTS Indicator. So the test still includes four skills, right? But they developed uh, their own online assessment platform. IELTS together with uh, Cambridge University and Oxford University, they developed Inspira platform to use, uh, to be used at the test center. Plus proctoring system like human monitoring and controls over browser, and for the speaking test, usually they have face-to-face, -face, but they change from face-to-face -face into video call speaking test instead. So all of these procedures are backed up with, uh, by the research, uh, by the IELTS uh, research. 
So this is very good because they would like to prove that the scores from the uh, online and on-site uh, assessment are, are not different. The second type, synchronous outdoor face-to-face -face test delivery. At Iowa State University, for example, they have English Language Placement Test of Oral Communication, or EPTOC. So earlier, they have face-to-face -face, uh, indoor environment. So they, if you look at the picture on your left-hand side, this is the seating of the test takers before the COVID-19. So they have this in a, a test room, right? So test takers sit at different places, and then when they would like to have a conversation, they sit uh, in the uh, middle. And during the COVID-19, they have to adapt that. Instead of using outdoor environment, they move it to, I'm sorry, instead of using indoor environment, they move it to outdoor environment. So they used a large university building and they set uh, assessment stations at corners of the building. Plus, test takers and test administrators are required to wear face shields and masks. They can speak. And if they would like to speak, they just pull out the mask and then take the test. A synchronous at home test delivery. Okay, this is more advanced because it's somehow related to AI programs. Tovo IBT Home Edition. The tests do the same, includes uh, four skills, but they use ProctorU system to help them with the uh, proctoring. So ProctorU use a combination of AI and human proctors to help proctor or to help monitor the students or the test takers' behavior. Um, similarly, at Teachers College, Columbia University, they have placement tests for the Community English Language Program. And tests do the same, include four skills. They use Canvas, LMS, Quadrix uh, test delivery software, and Onalog, which is uh, some, some kind of uh, proctoring system that use AI to help you with the remote proctoring. And this is very advanced because AI will detect the test takers behavior, suspicious behavior, and they can flag like red flag, green flag, and yellow flag to let you know that which uh, test takers have some kind of suspicious behavior. Um, what about the COVID-19 pandemic and KQL? All right. So, we have the same, we actually, we face the same situations. <clears throat> KKU, let, let me introduce you to KQL. KQL is a proficiency English language test for graduate students and academic staff. It is uh, academic, it includes academic reading and writing framed by CFRB 12C1. And it is a three hour test, including uh, two parts, academic reading and academic writing. Test scores are used for graduate program admission and academic staff recruitment at Concan University. And this test is under the responsibility of the Center for English Language Excellence at the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Concan University. So the numbers, the statistics of test takers in the last four years, <clears throat> we have uh, about 2,000 students each year taking the test but last year we have uh, only a thousand and seven hundred something so average since we offer kql monthly the average number of test takers is 150 per month well during the time of covid so before covid we have the same situation you know like on site your family with this kind of thing but what about during the covid mm. It's very challenging for us because uh, it is the time that the graduate school uh, recruiting new graduate students and they kind of ask us that is it possible for us to deliver a test online because they don't want to stop you know make it like uh, some difficulties in uh, recruitment system so i have to think about that like how can we administer kql to our test takers and they're at home. By, by the word at home, that means um, our test takers are from different countries. They are in Thailand, they are in China, Laos, Myanmar, Cambodia, Vietnam, Nigeria. So how can we do that? It's 
super challenging for us. And then we kind of we brainstorm and we think, well, let's take this opportunity to be a good, you know, chance for us to develop something new. So let's uh, get some change and have a chance to do something new, right? So we think about moving from face to face test deliver delivery to online at home delivery. So we had launched, uh, we launched our first online test in June 2020th because uh, we kind of set up everything. And actually, I did some small research with the TOEFL IBT at that time, right? So TOEFL changed into the TOEFL Home Edition. And I take a look at that. I, I, I knew that they used ProctorU. And actually, it's very expensive for us. We cannot afford that. So we try to come up with our own model. I need to confess that there are um, a few models earlier of this one. We have trials and errors. You know, you have, we have trial two models earlier, and we ended up with this one, the, com the combination which is fit our situation most. So that combination is KKU exam, which is uh, we use Moodle LMS, Save Exam Browser as a test security system, and Zoom with human proctors to uh, be uh, in part of the proctoring system. So KKU exam. It is a Moodle LMS. We use it as test delivery system. We upload exam into the system. You know, everything is the same. Two parts, academic reading, academic writing. So the, the test takers is given a username and password to log into the system after they register for the test. So this is the interface of, of the KU exam. Test exam browser, this is a free software which can turn your computer into a secure workstation, you know. So Safe Exam Browser is used at Kongan University. So we tried to try out using Safe Exam Browser and we think this is very good for us because we have a, 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 a big number of uh, test takers. So we need to make sure that everyone is going to be fine and it's going to be fair for test takers to help preventing cheating somehow, right? So when we, Activate Save Exam Browser with the KKU exam. It will lock your screen. You cannot visit other websites. You cannot use other applications, which is very good for us because uh, we we can be we, we can rely on this system in terms of uh, security and and cheating. So we use Save Exam Browser and Zoom, of course to monitor st students' behaviors or test takers' behaviors with the trained proctors. We need to train our staff. And one more thing that is uh, should be the reason for using Zoom because at Kangen University, we use uh, Zoom and the staff are familiar with using Zoom. So we use Zoom to help us with that. Uh, technology path is not enough. We think that we need to have some support for the test takers because they are not familiar with online testing. How can we make them confident with the using uh, the system? You know, how can how can we help them? How can we facilitate them with this? So we prepare a preparation kit for them, and we have so many channels of communication to let them contact us, us all the time. So the first thing that we provide them is test and Zoom manuals. We also have an instructional video for them. We offer them three hours. Uh, KUL orientation. And we use email, Facebook group, chat box to uh, communicate with them. How this works, all right? So they register, test takers register online. After that, they'll, they'll get email, confirmation email. In the email, it includes a consent form, test manuals, instructional videos, Zoom manuals, and a link to orientation. On the orientation, date. I introduce them the test, the structure of the test, the examples of the test, and what does it mean by getting this score? What is the passing score that they need for uh, different levels like master degree student, and doctoral students, how to get to the KQ exam and launch same exam browser. So we need to make sure that everyone have no problems with uh, using KQ exam and safe exam browser. We let them uh, explore 
the system. We let them install the system. We help everyone to get through that. And after getting into the KQ exam and launch savings and browser, they have a chance to take a mock KQ out. On the test days, test takers are at their home using their computer. And we are at our faculty, we have a proctoring station and Zoom, of course, for remoting, uh, remote proctoring. Test score will be uh, about two weeks after the test uh, date, and it's going to be online via our website. So let's take a look at the pictures on the test date. So the test takers are at home, and this is their home station. Then they need to set their station like this because uh, to help us uh, monitor their behavior. And proctoring stations in the middle, two, two pictures in the middle. So we use a big hall to help us, you know, uh, help each other. And I need to run around to help them with some technical problems. And we also have technicians there too. Proctors, or we have like a lot of proctors with us and they all are trained. And uh, right now they, they are experienced human proctors at uh, our center. In each Zoom, there are 20 test takers, but that means there are 40 windows because 20, each test takers use uh, two devices to enter the Zoom room. Challenges that we have found, um, test takers related challenges would be uh, their limited internet connections. Yeah, this is a classical problem. And their computer capability there are um, different levels of computer literacy that could cause problems too and of course cheating we can we can catch uh, some behaviors that showing some cheating challenges about test administration so security approaches raise some questions about test fairness test takers rights system accessibility and about university networks sometimes um, we uh, have problems with the university networks, especially when it's uh, when there's a storm, you know, so it's kind of uh, challenging for us to uh, have that kind of bad day, but it ended up uh, with the, we give them an uh, opportunity to retake the test on the other day. Uh, challenging about online proctoring, of course, because we need to train uh, our proctors very well and the online proctoring is exhausting. So we need to, you know, support them, <clears throat> fully support our proctors, like food, drinks, <laughs> and also some kind of uh, help, technical support as well. But it's good that we have a, a big teamwork and we, we kind of work together very well. Challenges in terms of test development. Well, as a test developer and test administrators, we need to ensure test validity, reliability, authenticity, and practicality. Um, lessons learned from this um, innovation. We think that uh, KQL at home delivery is the most appropriate test delivery type for our test context so far. Right? We, we are happy with using a combination of KQL exam system with safe exam browser and online proctoring like this. And we have been using this for many times. And we quite we are quite uh, familiar with this uh, model. We think that all supports that we try to facilitate our uh, test takers are very useful, like manuals, orientation, instructional video, technical support, proctor support, and of course, our teamwork. And the last thing we think we, we have done research, you know, like with the trials and error stuff. This is research somehow. So we need more research in order to improve KQL online, right? And in the future, I would like to probably have our own KQL platform, which is going to be very good for us because we can, um, we can ensure the test validity and reliability more and more. All right. This is what I would like to share with you all. Thank you very much for your attention.